Those are your latest headlines. Hello and welcome to France Van Cat. I'm Louise Hanna. First to Syria, where at least eight people have been killed in an airstrike over eastern Damascus. Protesters in Spain are holding another surround parliament rally in the capital as they rail against next year's budget. It's just been announced it'll contain 39 billion euros in spending cuts and tax increases. Well, France Van Cat's correspondent Sarah Morris is there. We can talk to her now. Sarah, what can we expect the turnout to be like this evening? Sarah, this is the latest in a string of protests now. Are they actually achieving? achieving anything. Thank you very much, Sarah. Sarah Morris reporting there for us from Madrid. Well, Spain isn't the only country seeing unrest today because of austerity measures. Thousands of Italian trade unionists are also marching today against public spending cuts, job losses and factory closures. They say they're sick of the austerity measures being brought in by the government, who they accuse of only caring about bond spreads. Well, today's rally is the latest in a string of protests. Prime Minister Mario Monti says that tough measures are needed to get Italy's debt-laden books back in order. Staying with Italy, he may have just been convicted for tax fraud, but former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi certainly isn't hiding away. Well, let's get you more on this from our correspondent Seema Gupta, who's in Rome. Seema, let's just take that statement first, threatening to withdraw his party's support from the government. Uh, is that an applied threat? What does he mean by that? And if they pulled support, of course, what would the ramifications be? Thank you very much, Seema. Seema Gupta reporting there from Rome. Well, in other world news, along the eastern U.S. coast, there's fevered preparations for Frankenstorm. Well, even the most talked-about men of the moment aren't immune from Frankenstorm. U.S. President Barack Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney have been forced to cancel rallies because of the weather. And that's just 10 days ahead of the vote. So the race is now on to reach out to powerful groups of voters who could tip the contest. Our correspondent Douglas Hanks in Miami has been talking to Latin Americans to see which way they'll vote. Douglas Hanks reporting there from Miami. That's where we leave this edition. Stay tuned. We're back in 20 minutes.